Split decision ever made. UK still here in stock for Rage in the Cage 4. I'm here with Danny Randolph, who just got the unanimous decision victory. Cracking fight there for you, Danny. How are you feeling after that one? Really good now. Uh, but unlike a three fight losing streak, so it's what I've needed tonight. And I've like, worked my ass off in the gym. I've really stepped up my game. Like, my striking's come on a different level, and so has my ground game as well. So I've just showed it all tonight. You kept up a really high tempo on him and great um, takedown defense when he, you know, because that, that's what it seemed like to me that he was trying to do a, a lot, not a lot of the fight, but you know, a bit of the time. And you know, what was your game plan for him going into it? To be honest, I don't have a game plan. I go in, <laughs> I go in there and just do what I do. That's what I did tonight. He was a strong lad. His takedowns are strong. Like I said, I've stepped up my game in the gym and my training. My fitness has gone up as well. So I'm able to push the pace on, stop stuffing them takedowns. Did you feel like there was any opportunities for you to finish in the fight? Uh, I could probably have pushed the pace a little bit more on my striking. Like I said, like, my level's gone up a bit more now, so I'm still sort of coming into my own game now as well. But, you know, that's a, that's a new learning curve again for me. And did you feel um, the fight might not go your way when you got deducted that point in the third round? Or were you confident that you'd done enough over the whole yeah. fight? It's one of those things in the heat of the moment, you know, just through the knee. I didn't intend to get a DQ, obviously, but it's just what happens. Um, you know. Well, yeah, thanks, Sean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was a bit worried, like, like I said. I've been itching for a win for a little while now, so... But, you know, I'm still happy with the result. You know, I put 100% into all of my fights. That's what I've done tonight. Yeah, well, I think the last time I saw you, it might have been your last fight, was the first ice show, was it, when you were in the um, main event, was it? I think I'm being right here. Yeah, the ice, the ice uh, yeah. in Wigan. That's one of, one of my best fights, even though I didn't, I didn't get the decision on that. But, you know, that was another fight that I was happy with. But uh, that was another learning curve again. You know, I needed to start pushing the pace more in the fights. You know, I've got one of the best fitnesses in the gym as well, and that's what I need to start showing when I'm in the cage. And, um, have you got any fights lined up coming soon, or are you going to wait to see what Sean can get you and well, keep training? Two weeks, some fight stars fighting on fight stars in two weeks. So that's uh, that's another one I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm ready to turn pro very soon as well. So I'm just getting as many amateur fights as I can now, and going all the way on professional. Keep up the experience, as they say. They say there's no so is it no substitute for experience. That's the saying. And. Um, so, so before I let you go, is there anyone you want to give a shout out to or thank? Just thanks for Sean, everybody at the gym, all the guys I'm training with. Gym wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for all of us training together. You know, we're just not just a team, we're like a brotherhood. You know, we all train our asses off together, and, and it comes out when we fight. You definitely see the results, like you're saying. Um, I'll be there in two weeks. Um, you know, good luck in the preparation for that, and thanks for your time tonight and a great victory. And cheers, cheers. thank you.